Hello guys! Good morning! Good morning po sa inyong lahat and welcome guys to Buhay sa Dubai Live! I'm Julie Franco Sorsano of Buhay sa Dubai and today guys, uh, this is I promised yesterday that we're going to talk about yung experience ko and you also guys would like to share your experience sa mga exit nyo. Yan po ang pag-uusapan natin ngayong umaga. Kaya ito guys, while I'm drinking my coffee and preparing everything dito sa work ko sa Impicate Tourism, eh yun yung pag-uusapan natin. Ano nga ba yung mga tips, okay, na maisi-share natin sa mga kabayan natin na gusto mag-exit para naman hindi sila mahirapan kapag nag exit na sila. It's either sa Oman or sa Armenia, okay? Hello to Maricor Nana, my girlfriend! From the Philippines, ayan, one of the best friend na meron ako. Good luck, girl, sa yung tawag ito, bagong career na pinasok. And I really wish someday na magkita tayo ulit dito sa UAE. Okay? You're part of SMDC, tama? Okay. Alright. So, bago ang lahat, actually guys, I'm recording it sa, sa YouTube channel ko din. So, ayun, sana everything is okay. Bye, YouTube subscribers! Okay guys, uh, today we're actually very excited because today, the famous, okay, X-Factor, X-Factor, Little Diva Ivy Grace Ayeji Paredes is going to visit MPK Tourism office later. I think that's 11 o'clock or something. Pero sana I will have a chance na ma-interview siya of uh, ano nga ba yung buhay niya as an OFW, as a singer, as a famous X Factor contestant na talagang sobrang sumikat siya because sa sobrang galing talaga ng voice niya. Di ba? Kaya yon guys, I'm very blessed for doing this job. <laughs> and then tonight, I was also invited by the eventologist, Mr. Jonathan. I think may press con mamaya for John Morales because on Friday, Meron siyang concert dito. So sana sabi ko, sige sir, I'll try na makahabol. Kasi of course may trabaho ko. Then sana lang talaga makahabol ako para makakuha tayo ng konting interview kay Jam Morales. Okay? So ngayon guys, uh, while I'm preparing some of the files na gagamitin natin, I'm going to read some greetings of course. Hello kay Maria Lizette Maliari Hasinto Good morning po. Kuya Juni, I'm from Jordan. See you there soon. Kumusta ang buhay sa Jordan? Kasi Jordan, napaka-biblical ng place na yun, ano. Pero I know some friends na galing sila sa Jordan. Kaya, hello po sa lahat po ng mga kababayan po natin saan. And also from Palomo, Jovi Abdullah. Good morning po, Kuya Juni. Have a blessed day. Hello from Sales Rain. Sa kanilang unit manager na si Laila De La Cruz. Hello to all the staff of Sales Rain Makati. And guys, definitely guys, during my vacation in the Philippines, dadalawin ko kayong lahat dyan at sasaktan ko kayo isa-isa. <laughs> Thank you guys for loving me, for watching my vlogs. Maraming maraming salamat of course. Especially to you boss, kay Madam Laila De La Cruz. Oi guys, uh, today I, I'm so blessed. Kasi nga finally I got some commercials. This is to, to support Filipino brands. At the same time, to support my Filipino friends working from different companies. Kaya, ina-advertise ko sila in some of my videos in YouTube. Kaya, thank you so much! And, so this morning, ang pag-uusapan po natin ay yung mga tips, okay, na may share ko sa inyo. If you guys are planning to exit, okay, ano yung mga dapat yung i-prepare? So, unfortunately, I cannot share yung other countries, only Oman and uh, Armenia. So, Share, you can also guys do share to me ano yung experience, ano yung good and bad experience nyo and what are the things that you would like to share to our viewers para naman eh, ma-enjoy nila at maiwasan yung mga bulilya so during the time na mag exit na sila, okay? So maybe we'll start with Oman exit muna, okay? I experienced na mag-exit sa Oman for just two days Hello kay Cecil Ravalo Bautista. Good morning, Kuya Juni from Oman. Ano yan, Cecil? Are you there for work or are you there for exit? Ayan, so hello po sa mga kababayan natin na nag-exit dyan. I am always, guys, praying na sana 
lahat of course ng mga visas na inaantay nyo eh sana umokay na at nakabalik na kayo dito sa Dubai. Uh, ito guys, I'm going to share you guys my experience ng pag-exit ko sa Oman for two days lang. Actually, I, I thought na matagal ako, na magtatagal ako doon and makakakuha ako ng iba't ibang storya ng mga kababayan na natin na nandun, especially yung mga nagtagal na talaga. Kaya, yung tip ko po sa inyo guys is that please do book or do apply Oman visa as early as possible. Okay, kasi po, yung pag apply naman ng Oman visa for exit, eh mag-i-exit, mag exit ka naman talaga, di ba po? Kaya may suggestion is, let's say two weeks pa lang, mag-apply na po kayo ng Oman visa. Oman visa guys is valid for two months naman. Kaya it's not a, like a waste of money. Na hindi ka pa naman mag-i-exit, tapos kukuha ka na ng Oman visa. That's not true. Kasi valid naman siya for two months. So, I suggest kumuha na kayo ng Oman Visa nyo as early as possible. Call us, MPQ Tourism, 04-344-1744 para makapag-apply na kayo ng Oman Visa nyo. Kasi po, if you like applying Oman Visa, then the next day ang alis nyo, ang tendency po niyan is, yes, makakapag-exit ka tomorrow, but your Oman Visa will not be available sa bus. Okay, parang pagsakay mo sa bus, exiting to Oman, you have to just wait until you reach the border, saka lang po lalabas ang Oman visa nyo. Doon, kumbaga doon lang i-hand over sa'yo. Okay? And just to avoid na maaaring what if kung nagkaroon ng problema sila sa processing. And then, yun nga, the next day, last day mo pa. So that's another tip na may isi-share ko sa inyong lahat guys. If you are exiting, please avoid, okay? Especially if you're exiting to Oman. Avoid exiting on your last day. Okay, because of the tendencies na maaring during the date you are scheduled na mag-exit na, eh maaring sarado yung border. Kasi especially as of now, there are some times where parang meron silang kota na tinatawag ng mga number of exiters to Oman na minsan kapag dating ng bus nyo doon, hindi na kayo pinapalabas. You need to go back again to Dubai and wait for next day schedule. Kaya nga po, I recommend, this is my tip, Get your Oman visa as early as you could and try to schedule your exit at least 3 days, 4 days before your last day talaga. So how can you tell guys if your uh, tourist visa is expired na? Okay? If 1 month visa po yung hawak nyo or a tourist visa, you have to, yung date kung kailan kayo tinatakan, okay? Based on the visa haw, na hawak nyo, may tatak po yan ng date kung kailan kayo nakapasok sa UAE. Kung one month visa lang ang hawak mo or short term, yung date na yan guys, minus mo yung 2. For example, yung date is January 10 or February 10, I mean. Your last day will be February 8, okay? And for example naman, your, your, pas, your visa, I mean, is long term or 90 days or 3 months, yan yung mga katawagan nila, ima minus mo po ang 3 days. So if, if February 10, it means your last day will be February 7. Okay? Kasi po, this is very good warning to everyone para guys, maiwasan nyo po yung overstay penalty. Kasi po, for an overstay, yung first day nyo pa lang as a tourist visa holder, is 300 their house. Malaking pera na po yun. Diba? Dapat you have to be aware on how to compute yung day na kung saan expired na ang visa na hawak mo. Okay? And, hello to Rosanna Kugila Tanasas. Good morning, Sir Juni. And from Rose Orcas La Cuesta. Good morning po, Kuya Juni from Pinas. Always keep safe Po, and always be a blessing and inspiration to all OFWs. God bless you always po. And also from Cecil Ravalo Bautista, work po, Kuya Juni. Good morning, Kuya Juni from Oman. Oh, you're working in Oman. Yun, uh, the other day, guys, the other day lang, guys, I have a client. She's from Oman and she went to Armenia for a tour. So ngayon, nagpapaka 
Tawag na nagpapatigas, nagpapakatigas siya sa lamig. <laughs> sa sobrang lamig ng season doon ngayon is because winter na nga po sa Armenia. Okay, sino pa ba ang nababasa ng greetings natin? Anyway guys, ito. Uh, let's continue with our topic this morning. So yun nga guys, so, so nakalusot na po kayo sa border. Okay, ito po yung mga mangyayari. Ito yung mga babayaran nyo. Okay, uh, what are the requirements na makukuha mo lang for a travel agency like us? From travel agency po, ang matatanggap mo dyan is of course, uh, Oman visa is normally guys, you have to wait for this bago siya lumabas at bago maibigay sa'yo. Pero yung pinaka-actual na Oman visa is hindi po inaabot sa'yo from the travel agency na pinag-applyan mo. Okay, binibigay po yan is either sa bus bago kayo umalis yung nga, kapag super late ka na nag-apply, ibibigay po yan kapag nasa border ka na. So, ang maaaring magawa namin is to send you the photocopy nung Oman visa na meron ka. Parang it's a guarantee na it's, your Oman visa has already been approved and already been released. Okay? And then, yun, you have to pay for the exit package kung ilang buwan yung gusto mong kukunin package going back to Dubai as a tourist visa holder again. So like on our case, uh, ang ginagawa na, <laughs> sorry, bibigyan ka namin of course the receipt of your payment. We will give you the voucher of your exit to Oman, which is, ang tawag dyan guys, is just a personal copy. Kasi nandun lang naka-indicate anong araw ka mag-exit, saan yung location, what time yung assembly area, uh, ano yung mga pagbayaran mo pa doon and all. So yun yung purpose ng voucher. So, yun lang po ang matatanggap nyo. And the only documents that you need to submit is your colored passport. Colored, clear, passport copy. Okay? So, on your travel, ito yung mga gagastusin mo. So, of course, babayaran mo yung travel agency, whatever man yung package na in-offer sa'yo. Pag-exit nyo po, these are the things na babayaran nyo. When you reach border, meron pong border fee na tinatawag and it only costs 35 dirhams. May nababalitaan akong 40, pero I don't know why. Pero what I know is 35. Okay? So just at least prepare 35 for 40 dirhams for the border fee. Yung mga may overstay, sa border din po kayo magbabayad. Okay? Yun nga, na if you're overstay, ng, yung first day nyo cost 300 and succeeding days will be 100. But if you are from cancellation, okay, at nag-overstay kayo, ibig sabihin you are already been employed dati, and you finish your contract or you you are terminated or you resign. Okay? Ang babayaran nyo sa overstay is that your first day is 100. Oh, no, no. It's 200. And succeeding days is just 25 dirhams. So, yun yung difference. Okay? Tapos po, pagdating nyo sa Oman, babayaran nyo na yung hotel nyo, which is 50 dirhams per day yung hotel. So, example for the Boraini Hotel. Ang hinihingi po nila doon ay uh, 3 days kagad. So it means if 50 dirhams per day, you need to pay 150 dirhams right away. Because that's the minimum number of days na sinisingil ng hotel. Okay, for example, you paid for 3 days kasi yan yung minimum charge na hinihingi nila. Pero you just stayed for 2 days, 3 days talaga ang babayaran mo. That's the minimum. Okay, kailangan pong malinaw yan. And pagdating nyo po doon sa hotel, kinukuha po nila ang passport nyo. Kaya huwag kayong matakot na, Teka, bakit kinukuha nila ang passport ko? Okay, kinukuha po nila yan. And then, kapag na-process na po ng agency yung, yung mga Dubai visa, tourist visa, at na-approve, isi-send po yan sa inyo, of course, and they will also send it to Buraymi email address. Kapag na-inform na kayo ng travel agency na na-approve na yung tourist visa mo, you have to go back to the hotel, okay, sa reception or may area po dyan sa Buraymi. Okay, I'm just talking guys Buraymi kasi hindi ako nakapunta sa ibang hotel. Look for a place where or magtanong kayo sa mga kabayan saan ka pwede magpa-check out. Kasi kailangan mo magpa-check out ng mas maaga para maisama ka sa gabi na alis pabalik ng Dubai. Okay? Kasi po, alam ko dapat lunch time or until 2pm. As early as you could, go there and do and magpa-check out na kayo para ma-release ang passport mo and yan din yung time na magbabayad ka ng charges sa hotel. So sabi ko nga, 3 days minimum 
Pero at least you stayed for 5 days. So, babayaran mo pa yung 2 days extra. So, kapag nabayaran mo na yun, ibibigyan na sa yung passport mo, print your tourist visa sa Dubai, and then you're ready to go back to Dubai kinagabihan. Normally, yung nangyayari is 12 midnight, pupunta kayo sa hotel, doon sa pinaka-area, na nandun yung bus, and then, ang mga alas nyo pa yan, mga 2 a.m. Eh, kasi ang dating nyo sa Dubai, nasa ano na, uh, 11 a.m. na yung dating nyo. Okay? So, dapat pong malinaw yan, ha? Alright, so guys, uh, sino pa ba ang nag nagme-message sa atin? Okay, hello kay Ramos, may Bill, Jared Hardulin. I'm always watching your YouTube videos, super helpful na mga videos mo sa Visit Visa ko last year. And I'm also excited sa next visit ko this April. Hope to see you. We are always staying sa Satwa. Hi, so good morning Kuya Juni from Philippines. Ayan, good morning din sa'yo, Rosana Tanasas. And good morning, of course, to my cousin who's watching me right now, Jonaline Sarsano. <laughs> Hello, Cass! Long time no see! Yan, sana makadala ko ka sa inyo kapag nagbakasun ako sa Pilipinas. Okay, guys, so now I will share to you guys ano yung tips ko kapag nasa Oman na po kayo. Okay, unfortunately, if you are guys exiting in Oman, wala pong free breakfast dyan. Okay? Uh, normally, ang nangyayari po is expect guys the worst. Okay. Although hindi ko sinasabi that everything is like a bad experience kapag nag exit ka sa Oman. Because I have some friends na they enjoy their stay. Siguro hindi sila ganun ka super arte. Na do not expect guys that yes, you are going to check in in a hotel. Just don't expect guys that it's a hotel service. Because it just so happened that Oman is one of the nearest and at the same time super affordable way or place we can exit. Okay, so ang experience ko is maybe I'm just lucky with yung mga nakasabay ko papunta doon na I have like mga mga Christian talaga sila they are like sharing God's word and sa room naman I'm lucky na mga professional yung kasama ko and yun nga lang yung bed is dalawa lang but since we are six are we six? yes, anim kami so kaming apat sa sahig they just provided us a foam. Tapos dikit-dikit na kami apat doon. So I'm with uh, Lawrence Abalos, si Abs, at saka si Kuya, na nakalimutan ko na yung name niya. And two, yung dalawa doon is matagal na silang nandun, waiting for their employment visa. So yun, there is one Kuya na nakilala ko doon, na he's been there for like five months. Nagkaroon kasi siya ng issue with his, ano daw eh, uh, visa application. Lalaki siya, but then yung data na na-enter is miss. So, napakahirap po nun kasi hindi siya pwede mag-apply mag ng anything like a tourist visa kasi he's waiting for the employment visa. Parang employment visa na yata yung pinaprocess sa kanya. Kaya yun, so, pag ganyan yung case, guys, ang makakatulong lang sa inyo just the PR of your company na makorrect nila yun. So, ganun yung nangyari. So, sana I'm praying right now na sana si Kuya is okay na kasi that was like how many months ago pa. <laughs> Di ba? So, ang kagandahan lang doon of the experience is that I get to know new friends. Okay, nalaman ko yung storya ng buhay nila. And nakilala nila kung sino ako and they're very amazed. <laughs> Imbis na parang ako yung hihingi ng storya ng buhay nila, ako yung pinag-i-interview nila. <laughs> so, so far, the stay was okay. Kasi ang nakakatuwa lang doon kapag kakain kami, talagang sabay-sabay, sharing. Okay, talagang, oh, anong kakainin natin ngayon? Is sino magluluto? Yung tipong ganon. Tapos, parang outing ang nangyari. Ganon. And, if you guys are like staying sa Boraymi Extension, paglabas mo doon sa pinakapinto, sa harap nun, there's one super grocery na maliit. And that grocery is selling, ano, uh, Filipino products. Kaya parang nandun yung corn beef, nandun yung ganito, yung mga chichirya doon okay naman siya. So, stressful lang yung pag exit is because you know that lahat doon are stressed din kasi they are facing different problems. The reason why they're exiting is because yun nga na, oh, kumaga hindi sila nakahanap ng work or some are like waiting for their employment. Kaya yun. So, those are the things guys na maisishare ko po sa inyo if you're going to exit sa Oman. Okay, and another tip no, last tip is that it is always better, guys, that 
your travel agency of processing your your visa or tourist visa going back to Dubai is is send din sa inyo ang inyong mga tourist visa is because sometimes napakahaba po ng pila doon sa check out so kung aantayin mo yan eh matatagal lang ka so better go out of the hotel look for a printing company a printing shop para doon ka na magpa-print ng visa copy mo para mas mabilis di ba Okay, so hello kay Rainbing Balanuyos. Sabi niya, good morning po Sir Juni from Taiwan. Sa so, Juni, pabati naman po dyan sa Bicol, Balanuyos family and Labitag. At sa akin, my one and only Ray, Doroha Labitag. Guys, advance. Happy Valentine's to everyone. And guys, please do watch guys my, my live streaming video with Life Coach Clarissa. Nasa baba, napakasarap ng usapan namin napaka-wise na woman okay si life coach Clarissa it seems like life is so simple because she choose to see life as simple as possible na kaya niya so that's very inspiring yung mga bagay na tinuturo niya as a life coach okay ha huh. bakit wala pa yung office mate ko it's been like 9:31 na Okay guys, so now let's go go to exit naman po sa Armenia. Uh, I highly recommend to all our kabayans na mag-exit po sa Armenia because mas smooth po kasi ang pag exit doon. Especially to those who are overstayed na. Mas mabilis kasi of course mas strict ang Oman kapag like ilang months ka ng overstay. So I highly, I highly recommend guys that you go exit ng by plane sa airport ka dapat dumaan. Okay, uh, so sa Oman naman, uh, no, I'm sorry, sa Armenia naman, uh, these are the things that you need to prepare if you like applying to us guys for it, the, the exit. Ang matatanggap mo sa aming documents is of course your air ticket, two-way ticket, and your final destination should be in the Philippines. Okay, unfortunately, since you are not a resident of, of UAE, hindi po pwede na ang final destination mo is dito. Your final destination should be in the Philippines because you are a Filipino. Okay? So, dapat pa malinaw yan, ha? So, you're also going to receive a voucher from us. Nandun yung details of the hostel, yung best hostel na tie up namin sa Armenia. And I would like to say, happy birthday to Camo, isa sa pinakasikat na, na driver namin dyan sa, uh, sa best hostel. He is celebrating his birthday today. Happy birthday to you, so, to you brother. My big brother. Hi, Jonard! Welcome back! Ang taba mo na. Hello guys, yung accountant namin na uh, single na naghahanap ngayon ng <laughs> kadate sa February. Hindi, <laughs> joke lang. <laughs> okay, so yun guys, birthday ni Camo ngayon. Kaya happy birthday. Alam ko, some of my friends, if friend nila si Camo sa Facebook. Okay, so yun, uh, yun nga, airline ticket, you will receive a voucher from us, nandun po yung lahat ng details, yung address ng hostel, yung other information kung ano yung babayaran mo sa Armenia. Okay, and what else? And of course, we're going to give you guys the copy of Armenian visa form where you're going to apply, uh, where you're going to fill out, I mean, because kakailangan mo yun kapag dating mo na sa Armenia. Okay, let's proceed guys. Hello kay Rhea Onero, kuya, pumupogi tayo. God bless you always. Ayan, thank you so much sa mahaba-habang mga sleep na nagagawa ko. <laughs> Kaya I look different na. Okay guys, so let's continue. Ito pong mangyayari if you are going to exit sa Armenia. Mostly from if you are like applying that from us, we always give you Fly Dubai because if you are traveling via Fly Dubai kasi, it is just 3 hours and 15 minutes flight. Malapit lang. Pero with Qatar Airways, minsan inaabot siya ng 6 hours. Yun. So that's the difference. Kaya kung may flight available from Fly Dubai, we always give Fly Dubai airline. Okay? And remember guys, for Fly Dubai, it's always in Terminal 2. So pagdating mo po dun sa border, uh, sa, sa boarding I mean, these are the requirements that you're going to, to submit. Okay? Of course, your, your tickets your passport, and your old 
tourist visa. Okay? Kailangan yun yung original. And also, if you are from employment, kailangan i-present mo doon yung cancellation mo. Okay? And when you reach Armenia na, directo, directa guys, bababa kayo sa immigration area nila. So from there, you have to make sure guys that change your money into their local money kasi po, ang ipambabayad mo sa Armenian visa because Filipinos are visa upon arrival lang sa Armenia. But sa kanilang immigration kasi, they are just accepting local money. Kaya po, you have to go straight to the currency exchange which, unfortunately guys, they don't accept their home's currency. Ang tinatanggap lang po nila is US pounds and euro. Okay? Kaya dapat, from Dubai pa lang, may dollar ka na. So from there, go straight to currency exchange, change your money into local money. Kasi what you need to pay uh, is just 3,000 local money nila. So go to immigration officers na dyan lang din sa area. Submit the form, the Armenian for, visa form, and pay for 3,000. Tapos tatatakan yan, tapos pwede ka ng omixi. So napakaliit lang po ng, ng airport nila doon. And you will see right away yung mga driver ng hostel na kapartner namin na mayroon silang placard na na ganito. I don't know if it's seen like this. May ganito sila. <laughs> you know, Juni, you know, Juni. <laughs> Gusto mong bumate? Bakit amoy Pilipinas ka? Wagong gupit, oh. Amoy pawis. <laughs> Ang amoy Pilipinas na amoy lagpit. Mmm, <laughs> sarap naman neto. Okay, guys. So, nandun na tayo. Nakalabas na kayo sa airport. Pagdating nyo po doon, ah, of course, susundin nga kayo nung, nung service. Then, ihatid na kayo sa hotel. So, if you are from us, dadalhin po kayo sa best hostel. And best hostel has two branches. Isang Republic Square, isang Yerevan. So, yung Republic Square is located in the heart of the city. Nasa Republic, uh, nasa city center talaga siya. So, yung pinaka-affordable doon accommodation nila, a dormitory room is just 35 dirhams per day with free breakfast. Pero meron pang mas affordable yung first branch nila which is called Best Hostel Year 1. 25 dirhams lang per day with free breakfast din yun. Okay? So kung gusto mo makatipid ng 10 dirhams, then go to the Year 1 branch. So doon po, uh, you have to wait there for your, of course, employment visa. Uh, no, employment visa or a tourist visa. Kami isi-send din namin yung tourist visa nyo in your email. And we can also send it to the reception receptionist ng hostel. So, once na ma-receive nyo na po ang inyong employment, ang uh, tourist visa or employment visa, just inform the receptionist na, of course, na confirm that you're going to return in Dubai para i-schedule nila yung pagda-drop sa'yo sa airport. Okay? And on your last day, that's the only time you're going to pay for all the charges na meron ko sa hotel. Kung ilang araw ka doon, or have you availed yung mga tours nila. Kaya ako guys, ang tip ko po, since it's a hostel, meron pa silang kusina doon, may laundry area sila, kaya you can cook your own food. And you don't need to bring mga kaldero, mga plato and all, because it's, everything is like provided na doon. May mga hangar din sila if you wanted to like make laba. Yung tipong ganun. But then for those who cannot like have yung dormitory room style, they also have private rooms. Pero of course, expect na it's it's a little expensive. Pero ano yun, um, it's it's a private room for two. So you can get one friend with you and you share the room. So kung 95, pag 47.50 na kayo a day. So that's a lit, still affordable compared sa Oman na 50 dirhams per day, wala pang breakfast. Okay? And I suggest guys, if you're planning to go on a tour, as the receptionist again, they have packages there guys where you can choose yung mga tourist attractions nila na affordable. Just They have like a budget ng 50 up to 100 dirhams lang. Okay? And another tip guys, if you are just on tour, ibig sabihin you are a residence visa dito sa UAE, you can actually guys go for a one-day excursion to Georgia. Okay? Hihati nila kayo doon for a one-day tour with Camu, the birthday guy, 
Tapos, that's another stamp, of course, di ba? So, maganda na marami kang stamp talaga sa passport mo. So, reminder guys, FYI, ang mga hindi po naka-residence visa from UAE are not allowed to go to Georgia. Sana po malinaw yan, okay? And hello kay Jare Solis, kapag ba vacation lang ganun pa din ba visa upon arrival? Yes, lahat po ng Filipino doon are visa upon arrival. To Sharang, hey yo, good morning! Wow, Pogi, tayo ngayon ah, from South Korea. Hindi mo ko yung kayo. Okay, and what else? Uh, Rhea Onero, kuya pumupugi tayo. I think nabasa ko na yan. Gusto ko lang basahin ulit talaga para marinig ko na pumupugi ako. <laughs> Atik lang yun. Okay guys, so I think that's all for now. I think I na-discuss ko naman yung iba pang mga yung mga importanting bagay if you guys are going to exit sa Oman or sa Armenia. Okay, so I think my last message is that Please guys, watch out my radio program sa Kuruti Radio or tinatawag siyang OFW Voice. Okay, or hanapin niyo po yung website www.ofwvoice.com Magsastart na po yung online, yung online radio show ko soon. Yan yung unang abangan nyo next, next week. I believe next week, baka magsisimula na kami. And also on February 24, I, was one, I am one of the special guests, of course, ni Madel for Madel Luku Luka Show. It's a mini-concert and a comedy show. Um, I'll be doing the Buhay sa Dubai live, guys. Kasi sa lahat po ng mga followers ko na gusto ko makita. Pumunta po kayo dyan. Check out the poster. Sinishare ko po yan in my Facebook page. That will be on February 24 sa Maharlika Cafe. Dyan po sa President's Hotel. Sa ADCB area po yan. Okay? And also, na pa ba? I'm still waiting for Jollibee U8 for the confirmation if I will do food vlog on February 24. Kaya antayin pa po natin yan. And what else? Wala na. And abangan natin yung yung video ko sa Philippine Information Agency website. Yan, kapag lumabas na po yun, I will tell you guys para mo mapanood nyo. Okay, so that's all for today guys. If you guys need any visa assistance, okay, just call MPK Tourism at 0437 0437 or you can WhatsApp me guys at 0521904829 or if you just wanted to like have a tour sa other country guys I can help you with that okay and what's up for more tours or tourism projects na meron kami dito sa MPK Tourism have a nice day to everyone bye